way too and we're starting to get butts of wool everywhere. So it's actually looking like a shearing shed now. We've got actually one fresh bale in the corner there. Wool's flying around all over the place. This is all the broken and the necks and creamy and stain and everything. So Anyway, it's been pretty good. Things are going fairly well. It's been reasonably smoothly, so pretty happy over there. So the rams are the last that we've got to shear. All the ewes are done, which is good. Boys are just finishing them off there. Uh, we'll start penning them up, you know, or whatever thickness. And then underneath is 75 by whatever, um, 75 by 50, uh, three mil gal. How many is there? Uh, 19. How many did you get there? Oh, 10, I Well done, guys. Good job, mate. Same with this next one. Oh, actually. What's it? Is that one of our tags? Yeah. Uh, what number? Uh, one, yeah. two, five. Hey? No, it's Pepper. Yeah. I like Pepper. Yeah, Pepper. So this, this ram was actually a pet. Oh, oh Pepper. See the belly? <laughs> Be very careful around that part of his anatomy because that's the important part of the land's anatomy. Done. We're using cover cones, of course, so cover cones are, uh, you know, five metres or something of wool on them, um, which is, say, the equivalent of two or three weeks wool growth. Just help them get over it after shearing. Stations on the long blow there. Radio down in the background, so I just turned that off. Can you turn that off yet? Can you turn that off? Or down or something? 
I uh, just, it'll be just buggering up my audio. That's all right. Coming down the whipping side now. That Charlie Brown is how it's done. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so. oh. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Easy as you like. <laughs> yeah, it's not hard, is it? Hey? Oh, one of them. So we've got half a dozen bales pressed up here. Um, and now we'll go on to some of these second fleece lines here. So this is the second main line here. So we'll get some of this wool and put it in. Um, and this is the third fleece line. The problem with this stuff is that it's actually too long. So anyway, that's all right. We'll get a bale of that, so it'll be good. Well, don't take too much from your handful. kilos so far uh, that's another bale done Now we'll brand it by branding the bale. Yep. Also, and you do the top of the bale too, don't you? Yeah, it's got to do. Oh, I don't know if you can see, but up the top, on the top, you've got to have that branded. Well, not branded, but written on. So that one's our uh, property farm brand. Yep. This one's the classes stencil. Yeah. It has to go on every bale of wool that is sold through the AWEX system. Uh, this means that there's traceability and the class is accountable for the quality of their job. That's right. People understand that. So this one is a quality scheme, sustainer wool. A bit audited for your animal husbandry and your wool clip preparation standards. And this one's the same sort of thing. This is run by Schneider, a very well respected top making company based in Europe. And if they see, no. so they want to know that their wool is responsibly sourced. Terrible. This one's a terrible stencil. It's uh, for the Australian Superfine Wool Growers Association, uh, which aims to market the superfine wool for Australian growers and get the best price that they can. This is a description of the wool. There's a more detailed description provided in the classes report so that the buyers understand what sort of sheep it's come from and what sort of wool it's likely to be. And this is the broking firm that sells the wool on our behalf. AWN Network, mm -hmm. Australian Wool Network. Mm -hmm. This is the bale number, so the bale number in the clip. We'd like to have 108. 
That's right, exactly. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. So that's job done for here for the day. Yeah, um, for the day. What are we doing tomorrow? The bride work and get shearing up there. So we've got to shear at our other property to, uh, next right. week. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.